Hi everyone, uh, in the previous video how I spoke about the naive method ignoring uh, December, the month of December where it doesn't take December into account and does not uh, smoothen the variation within the data. Well, the next method uh, uses you know more than two points, more than two periods and it smoothens it out uh, the variations within the data. So those are called the averaging methods and we have three of them, three types of averaging methods. One we have is called moving average, then we have weighted moving average, and then we have exponential smoothing. I'll explain it all one by one and why is it even called weighting, uh, moving average or weighted moving average. So let's begin with the first one, uh, the moving average. Uh, in order to be able to use moving average and, or the others, we must have some historic data, minimum at least three, or even if you have more, that's better, even better. Let's assume that we have some historic data for period one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we have our demand, 50, 52, 54, 67, 42, and then 51 and we would like to use the moving average method in order to forecast. We could use any number of periods uh, in moving average. We could use like three period moving average, we could use four, we could use five, or we could even use six, all right? Basically what you do for this one, let's assume we want to find out, the, uh, we, we would like to use three period moving average. So for that, uh, we would just simply take their averages, we say, equals the averages of these three periods and then enter that you go if you put it in excel like that even if you drag it down it just works like a charm so this one is the uh, the moving average for the other periods ignoring the first one and then the third one is exactly the same thing so we could also calculate one more because we have more data for this one there you go so in order to uh, predict what is going to be my demand for the seven period using three period moving average. So if I even click this, you can see that this one is taking only those three periods. And the second one is taking the other tier three. You can see that it's moving. That's why it's called moving average. So you're taking the averages like that. We cannot calculate uh, for the eighth period because we don't have a point here. Uh, we don't have something here, so we can't. There you go. This is called moving average. And in the book, it does speak about uh, uh, the types of variations because there are two types of variation conceptually if we'd like to know. Uh, the, the, the variation that are like small between two periods we could assume that they are random variations. However, the variations that are big, we could assume that they could be real variations. Well, you could read the book yourself and then you perfectly understand all those concepts. So um, they're not that difficult to understand. Uh, that's pretty much it with the moving average. Uh, and it's again, it's up to us to choose whether we would like to go with three period, four period, we could also go with, let's assume, well, let's, let's go with four. So it would be average of like one, two, three, and then four, there you go, enter. So now this is, so you make sure that we don't, yeah, there you go. Now we're using four period moving average. Uh, yeah, this one is for three and that's gonna be for uh, four period moving average. Now the second